A few months ago, Copic contacted me and asked if I wanted to be a part of their hashtag Copic of the Month challenge, and I thought, why did you ask me? But I did say yes, and they sent me these three wonderful colors. Y R O one, Peach Puff B O one, Mint Blue, and B G O seven, Petroleum Blue. All three pretty dang good colors. I was already feeling inspired by these colors, so it was time to get sketching, brainstorming, and drawing. But first, you know how I love to swatch any new art supplies, so I wanted to see what these colors actually looked like on paper. Sure, the caps of these markers do a pretty good job at representing the colors at a glance, but you do want to swatch your art supplies to make sure exactly what they look like. I was pleasantly surprised to see that we had a nice light blue color, we had a darker blue color, and then of course our Peach Puff, which I love that name, gave us a little something else to work with. It kind of complemented those bluey green teal colors and it just kind of gave us something else to work with that wasn't blue. It is nice with these markers to have a dark and a light version, but some variety is nice and something like Peach Puff I think gives us a lot of opportunity because it, it was a decent skin tone. Not the perfect skin tone, but I could work with it. So after swatching all the colors and labeling them, I started to doodle some things that reminded me of the colors. So at the top we have the mint blue. I don't drink minty drinks, but for whatever reason it made me think of some sort of refreshing carbonated drink. With petroleum blue I've got a blue cactus and yep, an ant. And for the peach puff I, well, I was inspired by the name. We have peach, we have a puff little fluffy little plant thing and then a bald hairless dog because like I said that sort of peachy color wasn't the best skin tone but it did a good job at representing things that were hairless. Once I had some ideas out of my system I thought I would just kind of doodle a generic person just to see how these colors could work with a human character. I did include the hairless dog but I think midway through inking I completely forgot about the dog so the dog didn't really turn out but that was okay. I was just kind of doodling something very quickly just to see if I could mock up some colors. I I also gave this character the peach puff little plant thing just to see how everything would work together, just to get some colors down and to see how they would interact without overlapping these same colors. I wanted to make sure that they were spaced out and things were working. I did like this idea but I wasn't completely sold and I kind of wanted to think of someone who was wearing overalls so I started to sketch a more baby-like character, a very young maybe toddler or baby wearing overalls and instead of a naked dog I gave them a rat. Several rats actually. I think that blue color made a nice cartoony fake gray color and the hairless color was really good for their tail and ears. And being a baby, babies don't have a lot of hair so I felt like this was a very cute and perfect idea and I was sold. So baby it was. Overall, I was pretty pumped about drawing this baby. I think the colors went really well with what I chose to draw, I suppose. The light blue slash light tealy colors were a sort of baby blue color, and even that peach puff color was really light and soft, so I guess being a spring month, March, it kind of made sense to do something, you know, newborn, new life. Little mice, everyone's reproducing. <laughs> everyone's reproducing, you know, all that fun stuff. So I thought uh, it worked out pretty well. So I was pretty excited to get started with this little baby guy. I was really pumped about the colors. I really enjoyed them. I do like light blue. I like teal. The peach puff was cute. And so far I thought the baby and the mice were turning out really cute at this point. If you are a regular to my videos and art, you know that I really like to push the shapes, especially when it comes to animals. And I like to make them just really simple. and 
and weirdly angular and push shapes to the point where the animals, I think, barely even look like the animals, which is exactly what I did with these little mice guys. They are just so cute. They're kind of like a half circle squished shape and depending on their pose, if they're looking up or if they are just standing on all fours, they can get really squished and round in certain places. And it was just so much fun to play with those shapes and just really push those shapes to see how far I can go and make them still look like mice, but also just really pushing those exaggerated shapes. It was just a lot of fun. I probably don't have too much to say about the baby because I draw people all the time. I don't normally draw mice and I thought these little guys were just so cute and I just kept adding mice looking at the baby or around the baby or just or on the baby. There are mice everywhere and I just thought it was really cute. I thought it would be a really good opportunity to just put as many mice as possible in there. That way I could make sure to put that light blue and peach color all over the place and not just on the baby. When it came to coloring, I am not used to alcohol markers in general, but especially Copic. This is my first time really illustrating something with Copic. I did just post a video where I tried Copics for the first time. It was more of a test illustration. I wasn't really, I guess, taking it too seriously. I was just making sure that I knew how to blend colors and just overall testing how different they feel compared to a cheaper alternative alcohol marker. So this is the first time I've really pushed myself to make a complete illustration using Copic markers. And I gotta say they do, they do have a nicer feel to them, especially when it comes to layering your colors. With the hashtag Copic colors or just colors of the month, you are limited to just these three markers. And as I have mentioned before when talking about either Copic markers or alcohol markers, you're, you're quite limited to what you can do with just the marker. With watercolors, you can water things down and get some different tones out of it. But with markers, you can only put down one layer and then you can only layer that color so much and you can only get so dark of a color. So I felt like with Copics, you could really do that. So with the mice ears, the front ear is just one layer of that peach puff color. And then the farther ear, I layered it over and over. You could see me go in a circle as I made my rounds to layer that peach color on all the mice ears. And I was just really trying to push that peach puff and make it as dark as I could. I really do like the way it looked. It layered really well. And I really do like the way that that light blue layered on top of the peach puff. As you can see on the baby, on the right arm and a leg, I consider those to be a little farther from the viewer or camera or whatever you want to call it. So I made sure to put those limbs in a sort of shadow. So that's where I put the blue over the peach puff. And I absolutely loved the way these colors interacted with each other. They layered so well. That cool shade of a blue just looks so nice over the peach puff. And I was so pleased to see that it really layered well with them. So I was really happy that they worked well together. And like I said, it was just really nice having that light blue color along with the darker petroleum blue color. I also put a couple of patches on the baby's overalls. I put a peach because peach puff. I couldn't resist putting a peach in there and I also had a lot of fun layering the darker color of the peach patch on there. And stripe socks, stripe patches, you know me, I can't resist the stripes. And things were looking really cute. I think it was really coming together at this point, but the matter of the background was something that I needed to decide on. So at this point, I had basically decided that my character was going to be standing in a white void. So I didn't want to do anything too crazy, but because it just seemed really cute, this little baby and the mice, and it seemed like they had a nice little relationship, I thought it would be really nice to just put a heart in the background to fill in that space. And also I hadn't really used the petroleum blue, the darker blue teal color, much at all throughout the illustration. I have 
of the dark blue in the overalls, some shading in the mice, and then in the hair. At this point especially, you can really see just how much you can benefit from the brush nib on Copic markers. I was able to get a very fine point to get between some of those tighter spaces, but I was also able to use the bigger part of the brush to fill in the heart. Overall, I can really see just how hyped people can get about the brush nib because it, it really is versatile and very, very useful. And that was it. So I just filled in the space by putting a petroleum blue heart in the background. And I think it was really cute. I think it filled in the space really well. I left a little gap of a white outline around the characters just to separate them from the background. And I think it turned out really cute. I had a lot of fun working with these Copic of the Month colors. So even though I'm not really much of a marker artist, thank you so much Copic for letting me be a part of last month's colors. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this sort of impromptu three marker challenge. So yeah, thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. And now a huge thank you to my wonderful patrons for all of their support. You guys are the best. If you want to be in the credits at the end of my videos, see secret sketches, coloring pages, early access, and more, check out my Patreon by clicking a link in the description. Thank you guys all so much for the support. Bye.